Hey, yeah, welcome back. So I got the question about the CSS validation. So let's talk about that in this extremely short video. All right, so just like HTML, you need to validate your CSS to make, it, to make sure it's correct. And I wanna go to the quick process and also gonna take a look at uh, how to fix a logic of errors on it, all right? All right, so for that, I'm gonna use some code, um, some very short code. I'm gonna show you two different ways uh, to get the code. So um, if you're using an internal style, then you wanna cut all your, sorry, you wanna copy all your code in between the style tags, but don't put the style tags, okay? So I'm gonna say copy, all right? With that, I can go to Google and I can do a search for a CSS validator. And uh, you might get different results. Usually you're gonna get the W3C, which is the authority on it. And, uh, but I know some people like to use Lint, all right? So Lint is another validator, but it's kind of, uh, it's really picky. So if you're really into super neat code, uh, you can use uh, Lint also, nothing wrong with it. A lot of uh, developers don't like it, but um, anyway, they call it opinionated, which it is. Anyway, but it's a good tool. Um, okay, now, so I'm gonna use the, the W3C because this is the authority really, this is what matters. Um, uh, there's three ways you can do it. If you have your file on the web, then you can you can put the URL right here, one way. E another option is you can actually upload your file. You know, the easiest way is usually just by direct input, which is what I usually do. So I'm gonna go here, control, uh, sorry, paste my code in the validator and then press check, All right? And it passed, all right, so now, um, so this is the ultimate goal to have your code pass, all right? But now let's, uh, again, let's uh, make things a little more complicated. Let me go to my style sheet, which has kind of like the same code, almost. All right, so I'm gonna copy this one. And here, if I wanna check again, I can refresh, but I can also hit the back button and then I'm gonna have to delete what I had there. So control A, or you can select it with the mouse and then delete. And then I'm gonna paste control V as in Victor, my uh, my code, and I'm gonna check and cross my fingers. All right, oh, it failed. All right, so one thing about coding, when you get errors on HTML or CSS, don't despair, don't think you should bang your head against the wall. It's like Photoshop, you know, if you make a mistake, you just redo it. Um, actually, it's better because usually here you just have to find things and the validators are gonna kind of give you uh, a hint. All right, so let's see what I have here. So it says value, error, background, missing, a semicolon before the property name padding. Wow, how's that for clear? All right, so let me go. It's gonna tell me on line three. So here, all right, so background is missing a semicolon. What do you know? It is, so there's a semicolon. Let's check again. Um, by the way, the other thing you don't wanna do when you're fixing errors is try to fix them all at the same time. Fix one, the ones on the top, and then then validate again, because sometimes fixing an error will get rid of three or four, and sometimes it will co cost seven or 10. So it doesn't matter, just stick with the ones on the top and then revalidate. All right, so I'm going to control it again. Go back here, I'm going to re go back. Control A, delete the old code, in with the new code, check again, and man, one more error. It says property column rule doesn't exist. Hmm, I think it does. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this. It's an underscore instead of a dash. So let's put the dash. Awesome. And let's see if now it passes validation. Control C, and let's do it one more time. All right. Control A, Control B, and let's cross our fingers and press the check button, and we're green. Anyway, so this is how the uh, W3C CSS validator work. Remember, always validate your code. There's nothing that should be uploaded to the web without validation. First HTML, and then when you apply your CSS, make sure that uh, you validate your CSS as well. All right, so again, short video, take care and uh, happy validation.